In the actual context of climate emergency, we are at a crucial moment in which the course we take now will condition our future in the planet. Studies show that if we do not invest more efforts in mitigating climate change, the short-term consequences will be devastating. However, we still have time to avoid the worst scenario, as long as there is a will at the political, personal and business level. Globally, the most important impact we find is the emission of greenhouse gases, which causes the global warming of the planet and contributes to aggravate climate change. Almost all the activities we know have an associated carbon footprint, that is, an emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, but we often do not realize the impact behind each product we consume or each activity we carry out. Global warming is the increase in temperature of the Earth's surface that is occurring in recent decades as a result of the increase in greenhouse gas emissions generally linked to the human activities. Greenhouse gases are those that absorb and re-emit infrared radiation. The most common are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and fluorinated gases. Many of them are found naturally in the atmosphere and contribute to the average temperature of the planet at about 15 degrees Celsius, a temperature suitable for life by containing the infrared waves that try to leave the Earth, thus hitting the surface. However, the increase in the concentration of these gases produced by human activities is causing the temperature to keep rising, triggering a series of changes in global weather patterns, such as hurricanes and floods. The anthropogenic origin of greenhouse gases is diverse, but the main source is the use of fossil fuels, whether in transport, in industries, for the generation of electricity or in the phase of use in the building sector, in order to heat and cool the buildings. Construction activities are not exempt from the release of greenhouse gases. The burning of fossil fuels is present throughout its life cycle, in the phase of the extraction of raw materials, in the use of heavy machinery, in the phase of transport, in the use of vehicles and boats, and in the manufacturing phase, in the industrial processes. In addition, some industrial sectors have associated some processes that release greenhouse gases, such as decarbonation in the cement sector. For this reason, it is also very important to take into account the carbon footprint of the materials and products used in the construction of buildings, with the aim of reducing the overall impacts of climate change. The consequences of climate change are not only the alteration of meteorological events, such as the decrease in rainfall or the intensification of extreme phenomena. Among the effects that endanger natural ecosystems and society in general, we found the melting of glaciers and Arctic ice, the increase in the sea level and its acidity, the loss of ecosystems and biodiversity, the increasing of diseases or the migration of thousands of people as a result of these adverse effects. Fortunately, many things can still be done to mitigate these effects, from everyday actions such as the use of public transport, the reduction of meat consumption, or using green energy in our house, to even the choice of construction products with less impacts on the environment using the DAPCONs. These declarations allow both the actors involved in the construction and rehabilitation of buildings, as well as the material prescribers, to have the necessary information to choose the materials and products based on environmental criteria. With these Type 3 eco-labels, companies can demonstrate their involvement and respect for the environment, as they give information to technicians when choosing more respectful products and adopt sustainable measures within the sector. The Environmental Product Declaration Program 
Dapcons quantifies the impacts generated by construction products considering their entire life cycle, from the extraction of raw materials to the end of life, passing through the manufacture, distribution and use of the product. These environmental statements take into account eight categories of environmental impact, such as acidification, eutrophication, photochemical ozone formation or global warming. Therefore, the Environmental Product Declaration Program, DAPCONS, is a very useful tool to promote the transformation of the construction sector towards a future model sustainable and respectful with the environment and the people's health.